play with. So what I want to do as per the pattern is that I want to hold out my hand like so and I want to wrap kind of loosely. Don't uh, take any pressure out of your hands and just loosely and count to 100. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So just continue to wrap your hand. Just kind of use this part of your hand, this whole section right there and just continue to wrap until you get to 100 and then I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So now I have 100 revolutions on my hand and I want to take the scissors and I want to cut. So I don't want to remove it off my hand yet and I want to just take this yarn and just cut it like so. And I want to just take this yarn and just cut a, a, cut a generous length. Okay. Kind of using two hands here and just kind of pushing it around. Okay. So what I want to do at this point is that I want to carefully take it off my hand. So I'm just going to carefully take it. Now I'm really kind of nervous about this whole part of the tutorial and I'm just going to rest it down like so. So I'm going to put my yarn down just like so and it's prep it's approximately in the middle okay and I want to take this yarn and I want to just tie it. So just be very gentle about this and just pull, 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 pull. Keep pulling as hard as you can without breaking this yarn. This yarn is relatively strong and then if you got a second person in the room that can put their finger down on the knot you're, you're laughing but what I did for myself is that because I'm only one person and I don't want to bug Daniel is this I actually put two strings around this so this is just one of two. Okay so that's one of two. So I'm going to grab this again and do a second string because the first string kind of is your determining on how tight you can possibly get it with that but with the second string you can get it even tighter. And I'm making sure all of the strands are organized so I don't have any crossovers. Okay and then I want to take this string and I want to tie it again and I find I, I can get a bit tighter with the second string. The more tighter you can get it the more of uh, the, uh, the look of the pom pom will be. Now I originally thought 100 uh, revolutions around your hand is quite generous but then the pom pom is pretty big. Okay. So now what I want to do is that I want to take my scissors and this takes a bit of time is that I want to ram my scissors in all the loops. Okay so I want to just kind of organize myself and using my scissors just going in and just start cutting. So you're going to have smaller strings that were in close to where your hand was and the larger strings are going to be out toward the outside of your hand as the as it was doing it. So you're going to have different lengths in here. You just don't want to make sure that there's no loop. So I just kind of like put in my scissors if it stops it means that there's a loop for the most part. Once you get one side done just turn it over and do the other side. Again stay toward the one outside as well. So what I'm saying is don't go over here. Now I like my pom poms if I'm going to have a homemade hat I like my pom poms to be unorganized and somewhat homemade looking so it gives me that you know that there's nothing better than homemade I'm sorry. And so I'm just looking for any loops that are not cut. And of course any uh, fibers that are really out of whack you can trim off it later. Now the larger ones are where I tied and basically you can just kind of hold it up and just kind of see what needs to be trimmed out. Just give it a good shake. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now if you do a nice tight one just like the model you'll have almost a perfect looking one because there's enough fiber to do it. Um, but I like my, my pom poms to be a pom pom so I like it nice and generous and thick just like so. So now let's attach this to the hat.